वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ विशाल पांडे एंड टुडे वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग टू एड सिविल डिसोबीडियंस द सेम टॉपिक एज आई हैव टेकन इनटू कंसिडरेशन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट अ सिविल डिसोबीडियंस मूवमेंट एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दिस वाज अ प्लान ऑफ महात्मा गांधी एम के गांधी एंड ही वॉज जस्ट प्लानिंग सिटिंग एट साबरमती इन गुजरात एंड ही वॉज प्लानिंग ही वॉन्टेड टू टेक अ सब्जेक्ट विच इज़ गोइंग टू शुक द you know the kitchen of rich as well as poor so he has taken salt ultimately so let us see the salt march and the civil disobedience movement how civil disobedience movement and salt march associated with each other as i told you earlier that the civil disobedience movement i have already told you the background of civil disobedience movement if you have not seen the previous videos please see it at once you will understand it will help you to understand the background of civil disobedience movement let us understand what had happened into the salt march and in the favor of civil disobedience movement first of all mahatma gandhi found in salt a powerful symbol why why a powerful symbol he found it because it was preserved by both rich as well as poor male as well as female so everyone was enrolling in that particular salt so he found powerful symbol that could unite the nation ultimately his views were his ideologies were mk gandhi's ideologies were to unite the people so that people can stand on the one platform and they can raise a slogan against british empowerment and british empire on 31st of january 1930 he sent a letter to viceroy irwin stating 11 demands now what is this children on 31st of january in the year 1930 mahatma gandhi wrote a letter to the viceroy of that time he was lord irwin and he he just kept 11 demands on that particular letter and he was uh, thinking that viceroy should considered consider all his demands but ultimately his demands were not sanctioned it was not fulfilled it was you know rejected altogether so what he did then then he started dandi march mahatma gandhi gave a chance to britisher but ultimately unfortunately his demands were rejected then he started the movement so what happens mahatma gandhi's letter was in a way an ultimatum it was an ultimatum to british government but what had happened if the demands were not fulfilled by 11 march he has given some time to british government that i am giving you the time of 11th march since it was written on 31st of january mahatma gandhi gave the time period to britishers of 11th march so that they can think and then they can execute the demands the letter stated the congress would launch a civil disobedience campaign irwin was unwilling to negotiate what is the meaning of unwilling to negotiate you should get this point straight away ye keh le ki gandhi ji ne jo letter likha lord irwin ko उसमें इलेवन डिमांड्स रखे और उन इलेवन डिमांड्स को पूरा करने के लिए गांधी जी ने उनको टाइम दिया टाइम ऑफ इलेवेंथ मार्च के पहले पहले इन द ईयर 1930 बट इरविन जो है वो निगोशिएट करने के मूड में नहीं थे निगोशिएट करने के मूड में मीन्स वॉट एग्रीमेंट करने के मूड में बार्गेनिंग करने के मूड में नहीं थे सो अल्टीमेटली वॉट ही डेड महात्मा गांधी स्टार्टेड इज फेमस salt march accompanied by 78 of his trusted volunteers sometimes it can be asked in your examination that how many people were there the trusted volunteers were there along with mahatma gandhi so 78 in numbers the march was over 240 miles from gandhi ji's ashram in sabarmati to the gujarat coastal town of dandi so from sabarmati to dandi 240 miles near about 384 kilometers the volunteers walked for 24 days about 
टेन माइल्स अ डे तो इस तरह से ये एक फेमस रिवॉल्यूशन स्टार्ट हुआ एक सिविल डिसोबिडेंस मोमेंट स्टार्ट हुआ एंड इफ यू इफ यू सी ऑन सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल ही रीच्ड डांडी एंड सेरेमोनली वायोलेटेड द लॉ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सॉल्ट बाय बॉइलिंग सी वाटर अब ये लॉ कैसे ब्रेक किया गांधी जी ने ये जानना आपका बहुत ज़रूरी है सॉल्ट वहाँ पर पहुँचने के बाद ऑन सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल वेन दे रीच देर उन लोगों ने वहाँ पर एक वाटर में सॉल्ट बॉईल किया वाटर को और उसमें से सॉल्ट निकला और उस सॉल्ट को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करना स्टार्ट किया और इंग्लिश पीपल को चैलेंज किया ब्रिटिशर्स को चैलेंज किया लॉर्ड इरविन को चैलेंज किया कि वी आर नॉट स्टॉपेबल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द सॉल्ट थ्रू आउट द नेशन दिस मार्क द बिगिनिंग ऑफ सिविल डिसोबिडेंस मूमेंट फ्रॉम हेयर as you can remember from 6th of april onwards civil disobedience movement started how was this movement different from the non cooperation movement people were now asked not only to refuse cooperation if you see this is the portrait of civil disobedience movement how gandhi ji is walking along with all volunteers sometimes it can be asked what are the difference between non cooperation and civil disobedience if you want to know this go and watch my previous video i have already covered what is the difference between non cooperation and civil disobedience movement you can see in that particular video it will help you to understand a lot so this was the movement children as you can see this movement the portraits of uh, indian revolutionaries and this was the movement where women participated on large scale the mass gathering of women were there the leading of uh, women was sarojini naidu itself she was leading from the front this movement so what had happened in that particular movement all over india this movement got very you know uh potentiality was there in that moment and all over the nation it became very famous like non cooperation movement but remember in non cooperation the movement started by jallianwala bag incidents after jallianwala bag incidents and got ended on the incident of chauri chaura so non cooperation movement was a movement between two incidents the one uh, is jallianwala bag and second is chauri chaura act but this movement was pre planned this movement was subjected its content was fabulous and you can see here that it remained successful throughout four or four and a half years ultimately so it shook the britishers and finally mahatma gandhi got a chance to sign that treaty that famous lord irwin irwin gandhi pact was signed up in 1931 on 5th of march if you remember so all together those 11 demands which were uh, suggested by gandhi ji earlier before this revolution were you know sanctioned were passed by lord irwin after dandi march so you can keep this in your mind this will help you a lot if you see uh gandhi ji along with famous congress leaders like abdul gaffar khan a devout disciple of mahatma gandhi he was follower of gandhi he is also known as simant gandhi if you remember simant gandhi kise kehte hain abdul gaffar khan ko because he was a disciple he was a follower he was a student of mahatma gandhi was arrested in 1930 angry crowds demonstrated in the streets of peshawar peshawar is right now in pakistan but at that place abdul gaffar khan was arrested in the year 1930 so what ultimately britishers were doing when gandhi ji launched this movement a dandi march then uh, the senior congress leaders were arrested by britishers wherever they were found britishers used to catch them 
and throw them into jails so abdul ghaffar khan was arrested there when mahatma gandhi himself was arrested industrial workers in sholapur attacked police posts municipal buildings law courts and railway stations to ye bhi yaad rakhna hai aapko ki sirf कांग्रेस के सीनियर लीडर्स को ही अरेस्ट नहीं किया गया बल्कि महात्मा गांधी को भी अरेस्ट किया गया व्हेन ही वाज अरेस्टेड पीपल वर ऑन द रोड एज यू कैन सी इन दिस फोटोग्राफ एज यू कैन सी पीपल वर ऑन द रोड पीपल आर ऑन द रोड एंड पीपल आर जस्ट यू नो पुटिंग टू द फायर द पुलिस स्टेशन बिल्डिंग्स एंड रेलवे स्टेशन एंड मैनी मोर तो गांधी जी जब जेल में गए तो वेमेन एज वेल एज मैन बोथ वर ऑन द रोड वो चाहते थे कि गांधी जी को जल्द से जल्द रिलीज किया जाए एंड फाइनली इन सच सिचुएशन महात्मा गांधी वंस अगेन डिसाइडेड टू कॉल ऑफ द मोमेंट एंड एंटर्ड इन टू अ पैक्ट विथ इरविन ऑन फाइव मार्च नाइनटीन थर्टी वन नो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कॉल ऑफ उन्होंने मूवमेंट को वापस लिया जिस तरह से उन्होंने नॉन कॉपरेशन को लिया था बट यहाँ पर समझौता हुआ एक एग्रीमेंट हुआ लॉर्ड इरविन और महात्मा गांधी के बीच में ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मार्च 1931 और इसमें उन 11 डिमांड्स को रखा गया जिसको गांधी जी चाहते थे कि लॉर्ड इरविन उसको फुलफिल करें बाय दिस गांधी इरविन पैक गांधी जी कंसन टू पार्टिसिपेट इन राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज हेल्ड इन इंग्लैंड बेसिकली इन लंडन and in the second round table conference which was held on 1931 in the year 1931 mahatma gandhi went there and he participated there in the month of december if you see he went there but he got nothing he just re- uh, returned from there just empty handed unki wahan pe koi unko aisa koi profit mila nahi wahan round table conference mein jane ka अब एक क्वेश्चन आपसे ये पूछा जाता है कि हु वॉज द मैन इंडियन मैन हु वॉज देयर फॉर ऑल द थ्री राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऐसा कौन है जिसने वहाँ पे तीन राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस हुआ इन द ईयर 1930, 31 एंड 1932। सो फर्स्ट वॉज इन 1930, थर्टी सेकेंड वॉज इन 1931 थर्टी वन एंड थर्ड वॉज इन नाइनटीन कांग्रेस ने फर्स्ट राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस का विरोध किया इसलिए कांग्रेस का कोई लीडर उसमें नहीं गया 1931 में जो हुआ उसका कांग्रेस ने समर्थन किया वाई बिकॉज गांधी इरविन पैक्ट साइन हुआ तो गांधी जी खुद गए और फिर 1932 में कांग्रेस का कोई नहीं गया विरोध किया गया लेकिन ऐसा कौन सा व्यक्ति है जो तीनों बार गया ही वॉज डॉक्टर भीमराव अंबेडकर किप दिस इन योर माइंड ही वॉज देर फॉर ऑल द थ्री राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस फ्रॉम इंडिया so this question comes straight away so what happened children abdul ghaffar khan and jawahar lal nehru both were in jail the congress had been declaring illegal and a series of measures had been imposed to prevent meetings demonstrations and boycotts when gandhi ji returned from england after this round table conference britishers started declaring congress as illegal party and he start they started arresting the veteran leaders the senior leaders of congress itself and they were arrested along with uh, jawahar lal nehru and abdul ghaffar khan many more were arrested and finally ye moment 1934 aate aate civil disobedience kamzor padne laga it got worst it became weak and finally it was lost it lost its momentum to ye lost ho gaya 1934 mein iska craze khatam hone laga dheere dheere log ab kam participate kar rahe the kyunki logon ko result chahiye tha and finally ye successful to raha but ultimately it lost uh, it this moment lost its momentum so this was all together how the dandi march was influential in that context if you see this how participants saw the movement ab hum ye samjhenge ki is movement ko participants ne kaise samjha how they were associated with this movement how participants were associated as it was uh, i have already discussed the non cooperation movement in that you have seen that how rebellion in countryside were performing their action 
how rebellion in towns were performing their action and how rebellions in plantations were performing their action similarly you can see that how participants saw the movement which participants the participants of civil disobedience un logo ne is movement ko kaise support kiya a question raises here let us now look at the different social group that participated in the civil disobedience movement to hum isme ye samjhenge ki wo social group kaun kaun se the which were the social groups jin logon ne participate kiya tha why did they join the movement un logon ne movement kyun join kiya ये सेकेंड क्वेश्चन है इसको भी हम समझेंगे एंड फाइनली वॉट वर देयर आइडियल्स उनके आइडियल्स क्या थे हु आर देयर आइडियल्स एंड वॉट वर देयर आइडियल्स एंड वॉट डिड स्वराज मीन टू दम और स्वराज का मतलब वो क्या समझते थे एवरी थिंग विल बी डिस्कस्ड बाई मी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो वॉच दिस वीडियो एज मैनी टाइम एज यू कैन टिल देन टेक केयर बाय